What's up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Next Level Tech and Android TV Tips. So your 4K Fire Stick just updated and you got a few questions and we are going to uh, walk you right through what the new layout is like, as well as some questions that you probably have in regards to profiles. Before we do that, I just want to mention today's sponsor. Today we're sponsored by myself. Um, if you look in the description below, you will see a lot of affiliate links for products that I actually use myself. Things ranging from VPNs to uh, stocks to cryptocurrency and other products as well. So make sure you just check them out. Uh, a lot of them come with, you know, either bonuses or money back guarantees or anything like that. So scroll through the description of the video, check out some of the products. It's definitely a great way to help support what I do here on this channel, as well as to get some great, fantastic deals. All right, so we're on the 4K Fire Stick. The update just happened. Uh, most of you guys probably already got the update by now, but you're going to notice that things are a little bit different. So along the top, you no longer have the um, tabs that said like things like live, home settings and whatnot. Now everything is down here. Um, you have find, you have live, and then here's gonna be your pinned applications. Now, if there's an application that you have that's not pinned to this row, it's as simple as going to the apps button and clicking on it. Now there's two different ways to getting to all of your applications. You can click on here, or you can hold down the home button on your remote. So if you hold down that home button, you're gonna notice that this window pops up it's got an option to switch between your profiles, which we're going to talk about in a minute, but you can see that apps is here as well. And there's also your settings. You can also find your settings by going to the settings cog here. Now, when you just hover over it, you can see all the settings is now located at the bottom. So Amazon has kind of consolidated all the different tabs to really be right on this home screen for you. And once you get used to it, you're going to notice that it navigates a little bit faster. All right. So once we go to our applications here, if you have something that's not pinned to the top row, it's as simple as either hitting the menu button on your remote, which is the three lines, and you can see your options come up on the right, or you can just long press the big circle OK button, select button on your remote. So we're going to long press that, and you can just navigate and move it to the top. And then you can rearrange what order applications are here. All right, so the next thing that you're going to notice is that you can only have you know, a couple applications pinned here, but let's be real. Most of us only use three or four applications. So this row is going to be perfectly fine for us. Um, the second thing is as you scroll through, you're going to see customers also use other applications like this one. So it's making the user interface a little bit more suggestive. So you'll see that other people that use Twitch also use these ones down here. You can scroll through them. And if you have them, you can use them. If you don't, you can install them. You can see Prime Video. It's gonna see everything that's inside your Prime is right here. Same thing if you were to go into your Netflix, Disney Plus, stuff like that. You can see what's on Netflix, all that kind of stuff. What's on Crave, um, uh, other things like YouTube. So that's all great. Most people will use either the home row or the home button in itself. Most people use the home row. Now let's talk a little bit about profiles. Everybody's been hitting me up about this because there's a lot of people out there who got their Fire TV device from a family member or a friend. Now what happens is these Amazon devices need to be set up on an Amazon account for you to access any of the information on there. So whoever you got it from had to put an Amazon account on there. Don't worry if you see another profile that's not yours. It doesn't mean that somebody is accessing your information. It doesn't mean that you're accessing, accessing somebody else's information. Um, a lot of times it's just if they're using, you know, prime features within that profile, it may be synced as like a previously watched or something along those lines. There's nothing that's really personal when it comes to these profiles in most cases. Now, what you'd like to do ideally is if you have an Amazon Prime account already and you're not connected on your Fire Stick, you're missing out on some of your, you know, your Prime features, your Prime movies and stuff like that. So it's always a good idea to register your Amazon Prime account to your Fire Stick. And the way that you're gonna do that is you're just gonna go over to your settings. Now you can click on the settings there, or like I said, you can hold down that home button on your remote and you can go over to settings, whatever way is easier for you to navigate. And once you're in settings, you're gonna see the next option is accounts and profile settings. You're gonna click on that and you're going to see it's going to say whatever account uh, it's registered to. You're just going to want to click on it and then deregister. Now, don't worry, it's not going to erase all the stuff on there 
that was installed outside of the Amazon market. If something was installed from the Amazon market, you will need to reinstall it. But if anything was sideloaded or was um, put on outside of the Amazon market, it's going to stay there. Now, the only thing that might change is the order in which they're displayed in. And I'll go back over that in a second. So you would just click on deregister and then it's gonna walk you through the steps to signing into your own personal Amazon Fire TV Prime account. OK, and then you'll be able to set up your own profiles or do whatever you want to do. Um, again, don't worry if you're using one that already has a profile set up. It doesn't matter. You're not accessing somebody else's information and you're not um, somebody else is not accessing your information. Right. All right. So this is what the deregistration process is going to look like. You're going to click on deregister. You're going to confirm that you're deregistering. Now, this can take a minute or two. All right, then you're gonna be presented here where it says, uh, I have an account sign in or new to Amazon. Highly recommended, don't click on new to Amazon. Just set up an account if you don't have one already, either on your phone or on your computer, and then go fr um, from there. So we're gonna click on have an account. Um, from here, it's just basically gonna tell you that you need to go to amazon.ca or .com, I believe if you're in the States, uh, slash code sign into your account and then enter this uh, code so i'll show you on the other side here there you go so i'm over on that website there and i'm just gonna enter my password and then you can see here it's asking for the code that was on the fire tv so if i go back over you can see it's fyk fzy so i'm just gonna enter that here all right, then we're just gonna hit enter. It's not case sensitive, so you don't have to worry about that. And as soon as you do that, it's gonna say success. It's registering. Now, remember, you can do this on your phone as well. Just use the same uh, URL, which is amazon.ca slash code or amazon.com slash code if you're in the States. You're gonna say continue. All right, now this is all personal preferences. If this is gonna be your device, you're not giving it to any family members or friends, then you could save your Wi-Fi password so it doesn't ask you. And it's actually gonna save it on the Amazon account. So if you were registering another Amazon device on this same account, it's already gonna know your Wi-Fi information. It won't ask you again. Now that's kind of cool, saves you some time. But if you're gonna be giving this device to other people, um, uh, which I don't usually recommend unless they know how to deregister their account and then register it again under their own Amazon Prime account, if they don't then send them this video all right so we're going to say no in this situation and then it's just going to see if there's any other amazon accounts on here so this is where you could actually set up your profile if you don't have one um, and then you just go from there um, once you set it up it's also going to walk you through some really beneficial things in regards to setting up your um your equipment controls now that's how you get your fire stick to manage your sound and the power for your tv as well as if you have sound bars and things like that these are really really beneficial things so take a moment once you deregister your fire tv stick and go through this stuff right so we can here for instance i'll show you we can add equipment say i'm going to add um i'm just going to say i'm going to add a sound bar and then it's going to search for that sound bar and then it's going to walk you through these steps with either the power button or the volume button. And as long as it does what it says on the screen, then it means that it's actually communicating with that sound bar, with the TV, with the volume, the power options, all that kind of good stuff. So just take a moment and actually go through those steps and it'll actually benefit your experience when you're using the device. So first off, guys, if you have any issues with the profiles, don't worry about it. Um, you can always just deregister the Fire Stick, register it under your own Prime account. If you're using a Fire TV device, it is highly recommended that you have your own Prime account because then you'll get features from Amazon Prime Video and all that kind of good stuff. And the stuff that is going to be suggested to you is going to be a little bit more personal when it comes to advertisements and products and services. Just to go over again, if you deregister and you register your actual Prime account and the applications are no longer showing up on this bar, all you're going to want to do is just go to your apps and then find the application that you want to move hold down that big circle OK select button or hit the three dots for menu and then move the applications in whatever order you want to, you want them to be in all right this has been mark from next level tech i really do appreciate all you guys checking out the video i hope it helped you guys make sure you hit that thumbs up that like that subscribe and check out the other recommended channels that i have on this page we also have a great podcast and there's two other channels that post the videos from the podcast as well
Hey everybody, uh, just before we get going, I wanted to say a huge thank you, much love and appreciation to everyone who supports what I do over here on Next Level Tech. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and share these videos with a family member and friend.